Marquez Brownlee, aka MKBHD, uploaded his first tech review to YouTube when he was only 15 years old. All right, welcome to my first video. 12 years later, he is still uploading tech reviews every single week and making over $6 million a year doing that. In this video, I'm gonna break down all of his revenue streams that MKBHD is making his money from. Before we get into the juicy stuff, I just wanna remind you that these numbers are just an estimate of how much MKBHD might be making, we hope he's making a lot more, from his channel based on public information that's available to our research team. The goal of the video is not to guess exactly how much he's making, but to show you what the business model of a channel like his looks like and to inspire you to start your own business on YouTube. With that being said, let's dive in. How is MKBHD making his millions? First off, YouTube AdSense, over $1.5 million. On February 5th, 2018, MKBHD accidentally revealed how much he was making from AdSense when he used some B-roll in one of his videos that showed his YouTube Studio dashboard. Dope. He since blurted out in that video, but the internet, you guys are awesome. You kept a record of it. So from this screenshot, we can see in 2018 that he was making around $31,000 a month from 16 and a half million monthly views. That comes out to around 0.001865 cents per view or a CPM of about 1.86. That means how much money he's making for every thousand impressions. But, 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 that was in 2018. So how much did he make from AdSense in 2020? He's four times bigger now. We can use MKBHD's CPM and his current monthly views to calculate that. So on socialblade.com, we can see that he has around 70 million views in the past 30 days. So let's do the math, 70 million, 332, 269 views. He makes around 0.001865 per view for a gorgeous total of $131,000 a month. Let's times that by 12. And it looks like just from his YouTube AdSense alone, he's making over $1.5 million. Nice job. Shaka brada. Did you think it was more or less? That's some of the things I'm always wondering for you. And in the comments below, let me know if you thought he was making more or less money. Someone earlier said, I thought he was doing 15 million. I was like, I'd still take either of it, but uh, let me know in the comments if you thought he's making more or less money from his channel so far. Merchandise, over $2 million a year from merchandise. Marquez sells his own merch on cottonbureau.com. You can see some of his shirts. This is the kind of guy I'd wanna have like Benedict's with over brunch. He'd be like, here, have more, I wanna share with you. He just seems like such a good person. This is stuff that like I can actually see myself wearing. Maybe I'll buy a shirt for a future video. So he went to Cotton Bureau and he gives them the designs and then they deal with the shirts and the printing and the shipping. How is he selling over $2 million of t-shirts and merchandise? First off, he wears his merch in almost all of his videos. So let's check it out right here. All right, what's up? MKBHD here. I want that t-shirt. If you leave a comment, I'm gonna buy someone that t-shirt. How much is he actually making from selling t-shirts? The t-shirts cost around $30 each. And we researched from Cotton Bureau. It looks like he actually gets around 50% of every single sale in terms of profit. So we're gonna say that about 1% of his subscribers buy a t-shirt at a $30 item. He has over 13.4 million subscribers at the time of this video times he gets his 50% profit margin for a nice yearly profit of $2 million. So what's my opinion? Do more of what works. If people are buying these t-shirts and they love them, do a lot more gorgeous t-shirts. If you're liking this video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell ding to get notified when we do our weekly live office hours, as well as when we give away free stuff. At the end of last year, I gave away my Tesla. Make sure you subscribe. Merchandising partnerships. He's making over $100,000 a year doing merchandising partnerships. Merchandising partnerships are a super smart move for creators who have a giant audience because it allows them to create high quality products without having to worry about all the logistics of a product business. This is really interesting. So on November 27th, MKBHD released his first product, Icons, in collaboration with Dbrand. I love this drop approach. This is literally how we create an eight-figure business with AppSumo.com, promoting software for entrepreneurs just like yourself. So the products on dbrands.com, let's actually check some of them out. Products only be available for 24 hours. It's a sense of urgency, obviously, but it's also a great way to manage inventory because you only make as many orders as people buy. These phone cases, which is the first thing that he dropped, is a perfect product for his tech audience that loves to see the phones and gadgets that he's talking about. Let's actually check out his launch video. About a year ago now, dbrand approached me with the open-ended idea to collaborate on something new. Now you guys have heard about dbrand here on the channel. If you've been here for more than a little bit, you're aware they're kind of the perfect company to collaborate with because they make accessories for like every product that I review. So two things I wanna kinda of highlight before we get into the math of the 100,000. Number one, if you wanna partner with MKBHD or any type of creator out there, you can always go sponsor their show and that's a great way to build a relationship and maybe actually create products or do something more in depth with them in the future. The other thing I wanna highlight when you actually check out this phone case, uh, is the level of quality of the website. So when you look at a website like this, it just looks just like Apple, which is a lot of what he is, you know, he's associated with MKBHD. And the second thing to consider with that part is 
If you're creating a product like a McDonald's burger and you put it on a really high quality plate with high quality cutlery, people are gonna think it's high quality. And so if you're asking more premium or higher expensive things to sell to an audience, go and actually put a little bit more polish on it. So let's do some math here, about $25 per case, over one and a half million views for the video. He's making a 30% cut and about 1% of people bought it, which calculates to over $100,000 a year just from one 24 hour period of selling a phone case. One thing you have to consider is that there is more work that goes into the case, but the nice thing for MKBHD is that he just finds, hey, I like this case, you guys do all this work, and he collects a nice $100,000 check at the end of the year. This was actually one of the very first partnerships that MKBHD did around this, and he can be potentially doing this every single month. So what's my opinion on this? A lot of times creators do sponsored videos, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, and they make good money from it, but those companies are making the great money from it. So as a creator, I actually like thinking about the Gary Vee approach. So how do you actually go for the big money? Creating the agencies, creating the phones, creating the cases, or creating companies out of it that you can hire people to just go run it for you and you just focus on getting the attention. And so that's what I would like to see him work on a little bit moving forward with these partnerships and creating companies around him as a brand. Next up is brand deal. So this is a huge chunk of a lot of creators. We think he's making about $1.8 million from this. And so a brand deal is when you partner up with the company to feature them in your video. So here's a good example from his channel where he talks about his sponsor. You guys try to guess what the sponsor is. All right, quick sponsor message. Shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. He puts the link to them in the description. You know, it was ExpressVPN. Actually, use those guys. Come sponsor one of our videos. And he regularly does these sponsored videos, especially of a channel at his size, over 13 million views. So MKB HD has a lot of other large brands from Buick, yes, the car company, as well as Ridge Wallet and other brands. So let's do the math. We found out that he has about two and a half sponsored videos per month, and he does 10 videos a month. Each sponsored video we think gets paid around $60,000 for a channel of his size. So 60,000 buckaroos is 150,000 a month, which calculates to $1.8 million a year from these brand deals. But yes, he's making $1.8 million a year, and that is amazing, but you know who's making more? The brands. Let's do a quick sponsored video. Uh, just wanted to interrupt you and waste your time and tell you Huckberry, if you don't have a Huckberry, sponsored this video. They didn't actually give me anything, but they did give me the beanie for free. Go check them out. Yeah, it's kind of annoying and kind of intrusive for the audience. So as a creator, I think the, the real thing is get people on your email list and create your own products over time. I think especially if you're starting out, brand deals are great to start. But I think as you grow as a channel, I think you're actually gonna make 10X types of money uh, when you create your own businesses around it instead of passing your audience off to other businesses. So one of the classics, Amazon's affiliates, we're thinking he's making over $300,000 a year doing it. And in the description of every one of his videos, you can see it right here. It says tech I'm using right now. He's selling tech gadgets, which are high cost items, and he's gonna get good affiliate margins from them. And so from time to time, if he doesn't have a sponsor for a video, he will review a product that he already likes. And then in the description below, say, here's my Amazon affiliate link uh, in case his viewers wanna buy that product. So how's the money looking from his videos on Amazon affiliate? We think about one in a thousand of his subscribers buy something from his affiliate link. And guess what? Even if you don't buy the things he's promoting, if you buy anything from Amazon within 30 days, he gets a cut of it. So of his 13 million subscribers, we think about 0.1% times around $500, which we think with like cameras and gadgets, it adds up and it's expensive. And he makes around a 5% cut from those links. Calculate around $335,000 a year from Amazon affiliate. If Marquez Brownlee is the number one YouTube channel that you love, go hit that like button if you've liked this video and learned one thing so far. Next up is podcasting. I was surprised we actually pulled this one out, but it looks like he's making over half a million dollars a year from doing a podcast. I didn't even know he had a podcast, but he does. It's a top ranked podcast in the USA on iTunes. There's not a lot of public information on the number of podcast downloads, but we estimated based on reviews and his ranking that he does around 200,000 downloads an episode, which is why he's a top 10 podcast in these categories. He does three episodes a month and each episode has between three and four ad placements. We looked up from advertisecast.com and the CPM is around $26. So for every thousand listeners, he's making 26 bucks. 200,000 downloads an episode, three episodes a month, three ads a video, and around $26 for every thousand listeners. So that comes to around 46,000 bucks a month with over $500,000 a year just from podcast ads. So let's look at some of his yearly revenue summary. From his YouTube AdSense, he's making about one and a half million dollars. Merchandise, $2 million. Merchandising partnerships, which he's just getting started, over a hundred thousand bucks. Brand deals with major companies that he's talking about in his videos, over 1.8 million. Amazon affiliates, over 300,000. And podcasting, don't forget about the pod, uh, over half a million bucks. So his total yearly revenue is $6,398,436. Quick disclaimer though, this is revenue, not profit, and it doesn't take into account a lot of his costs. He has an office building, he has staff, he buys a lot of the tech gadgets himself. 
So his actual profit might be lower, but hopefully his revenue is actually a lot higher than we figured out. Some key business lessons we could definitely learn from Marquez Brownlee that you should think about and take away for yourself. Number one most important thing is consistency. Not only did he start as a tiny channel over 12 years ago, he has been uploading videos every week for 12 years. So if you want the secret to success, find something you like and do it for a very, very long time. That's it. I also recommend for YouTube specifically the law of 100, which is do at least 100 videos and try to make each one a little bit better before you even consider giving up. You can also apply that to sales or anything else you're trying to work on in your life. Next up is don't be afraid to start small. You see the MKBHD, he's talking to Elon Musk, President Obama, Neil deGrasse Tyson, making millions of dollars a year, having an epic life. But look at the first video that we actually showed you. It's just him in his home talking about a media center remote that he just got excited about. He just got started. So for yourself, get started today so you can look back in 10 years about how far you've come for yourself. Next up is diversify your income streams. So he could literally just live off his YouTube AdSense making millions of dollars a year. But I like that he started his podcast. I like that he has these different exclusive product drops. I like that he has his t-shirts. I think there's a lot of opportunities for him to create these separate businesses and he's done a great job diversifying so far. So think about that for your own business, have your cash cow and then build a lot of experiments around it. That's what we've done at AppSumo. We have our main AppSumo business and we built a lot of products around it like this channel to potentially grow the business in the future. And lastly, find partners that allow you to focus on what you want to do best at. So MKBHD, he works with Cotton Bureau for his merchandise. He's doing dbrand for these custom products. So for yourself out there, realize you don't have to do it all. So start with yourself and over time, try to bring on people that can help offload the things that they like doing so you can focus on what you're great at. If you love this video, you are definitely going to want to see how Mr. Beast makes over $97 million a year from YouTube. Check out the video right up here. I'll see you out there and I love you. Pew, pew.